Hey there! So, today's look is based upon the new World of Warcraft expansion that, at the time of you watching this video, came out last night. Um, for those of you that don't know, World of Warcraft is a MMORPG, which is a massively multiplayer, mul massively multiplayer online role-playing game. It is one of the biggest ones out there and paved the way for many more. I didn't start playing until November 2015 so I am relatively new as it is now 12 years old. Uh, this is my first expansion and I'm very excited hence this. I do have a bit of a rant in the video, or well, not a rant. Originally my plan had been to do like a mini cosplay but for various issues, I'm now delaying that until November. Um, because of this, whatever I was doing with the makeup just was not ticking the boxes. And even though I really like how it turned out and I love the look, something still feels off. Um, you do, you see that I try corruption veins going on my neck at one point, and it just doesn't work. But, even saying all that, I do like the look itself. I really, really do. Um, I've not actually said what the look is on. The look is on the, the Legion. Uh, World of Warcraft Legion, the big bad is Legion. The Legion, the Burning Legion. And they're uh, just green everything, really. I show in the video the, like, cover art for Legion which is all green, there's lots of green, green everywhere. So because of this, hence the green. Anyway, I should stop rambling and let's get started. Okay, eyebrows are on, eyes primed. So, I'm going to start off with the Kiko Long Lasting Shadow Stick in 20. And we're just gonna I left it out without a lid on, so hopefully if I take the top off, we get fresh underneath. There we go. And what I'm going to do before that sets is I'm going to take the Hard Candy Radiant Shadow Stick in Pop and take that over the top. And the reason I'm doing this is because this creases really easily, so I'm hoping that and also it's a little lighter than I want that mixing in the two will help and um, we need to remove some of that black I know it's a mess but bear with Now I'm going to use Makeup Revolution Single Eyeshadow in Touch Me. Come on, there we go. And this is just as a blending colour. Yeah, the drill. Now I'm going to use the other sleek matte palette, which is the dark one, the V2, and I'm going to use Forest here. I can't part up using this green. This is the most gorgeous green ever. And this is going sort of in the lower crease area. And now I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Eyesight Angels palette and I am going to use this colour here which I think is called M is it MV? I have a single of it as well. Uh, Eden. There's probably some names something else in this palette but it's the same colour. And that is our lid colour. Now I'm going to use a loose pigment. This is from Sweet Scents and it is called Ma Majestic Green. And if I just get some on my finger, I can show you. 
super super shimmering stuff and I'm just going to use my finger with this and I am going to pat that in the middle of my lid and then slowly blend the edges away and out and I'm going to concentrate that more to the first three halves and not the outer bit Matte, hello, matte black shadow from the Sleek V2 palette, which is obviously Noir. Oh god. And that's going in the outer corner, hence why I didn't put any pigment there. And upwards. You know what's really strange? <laughs> I've just noticed. Looking straight in the mirror with your eyes open, putting your brush here and wiggling it, and you can watch your eyeball. Let your eyeball wiggle. <laughs> watch. I don't know if I can do it. Can I show it on camera? I'm not even sure. I don't think it shows on camera. It looks so dry. I'm gonna shut up and blend now. And for the lash line, I'm going to take a pop and just run that underneath. And then I'm going to take the Kiko shadow stick and just get a little bit on there. And use the same brush I used on the lid with those and Obviously this is, you can use a smaller brush if you haven't got as much room as I do. And blend this out. And if anyone's wondering, yes, using a big brush on your lower lash line can feel really strange. Okay, now I am going to use an same brush that I use on the upper on my upper lid again I'm going to use the fell green from the sleek bright palette and that's going directly under what we just did and that does need a little bit of tidying up so it's just a dry cotton bud here Then I'm going to use the um, lid. Then I'm going to use the lid color that we used the first one, Eden, which is in the Isaac Angels palette. Yet again, I don't know if it's called Eden, but it's the same as the single eye shadow in Eden. And that's going directly over the base we put down and I'm going to use the Noir which is a matte black and that's mimicking again on the outer corner and yes I've moved to a smaller brush now and then I'm going to use Forest again so like a lot of my looks I'm basically mimicking what I did on the upper lash line on the upper lid even on the lower lid then I'm going to take the maj majestic green pigment and just press it like I did on the lower lash line Well, press it on the lower lash line like I did on the camera. Really? Come on now. Camera! I'm going to press, I'm pressing the pigment which I, on the lower, lower lash line 
just like I did on the upper one and then I'm just gonna work and blend that in like so then I am going to take Makeup Revolution Makeup Revolution uh, Hypocrisy Eyeliner and Tip X and this is going in the inner corners don't mind the palette that is my hand by the way you see it come into shot and then I am going to use so I'm just testing it out camera would you please I was just testing it out before I told you but I'm using the Makeup Revolution Eat Sleep Makeup Repeat palette and I'm using the neon yellowy green in the middle and I'm just going to pop that on in the inner corners and then blend it really well in so it picks up more of the green because even though it looks quite yellow when it first goes on even though it looks quite yellow when it first goes on and if you do that again camera off screen and in the pan it's actually quite green which is what I wanted because and failed attempt at showing you what I am looking at on my tablet coming up the artwork for World of Warcraft Legion as you can see if you're wondering who that is that's Illidan and you can see the fell some of the fell can be very dark and then some of it's very very bright and so we're bringing a bit of the bright in now I am just going to Use the MIC liquid liner in black to do some liquid liner, unsurprisingly enough. Okay, so have a look. I am now going to go and put uh, mascara and lashes on, and I'll be back to do the face. Okay, I'll see in a minute. I have lashes and mascara on, but what I also did was the same colour I've got in my inner corner. I brought up around the edge around here and slightly up as well because it just wasn't, it needed something, and that worked. So, prime. Oh, it's something on really dark. I think it's going to tip it down in a minute. We do need it. But it's going to absolutely tip it down and that's why the lighting is a bit iffy anyway clarins uh, beauty flash balm now i'm going to use remove mash perfection foundation in light porcelain with l'oreal infallible matte foundation in light porcelain two on my hand and I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution sponge now I'm going to use the number 17 stay time concealer in extra fair and that's going under the eyes around the chin and the nose now I'm going to set blend. everything using the MUA Skin Define Hydro Powder
And now I'm going to I'm going to use the Makeup Gallery Color Story Eyeshadow in Cappuccino for contour as normal. I'm using the Real Technique setting brush to contour with because why not? But then I'm going to go to the Sleek Ultra Matte 1 palette and there's a very light grey in this palette. I'm going to take that over the contour that I just did. And the reason for that is um, if you are not a World of Warcraft fan, this will not make a lick of sense. But basically, one of the big characters that is coming back in Legion is called Illidan. I have actually done an Illidan makeup in the past, um, not on YouTube though, this was before I did YouTube. But anyway. He is basically part demon, and because of this, he has, and any other part demon person has quite scaly skin, and it's very dark in colour normally, whether it be purple toned or a lot of grey tones. So I'm just bringing that in in my own little way. Now I'm going to put on a tiny bit of blusher because I think to be honest I'd rather keep colour off of my face but Makeup Revolution blusher in WOW I'm going to use a really big powder brush for this and that's it but I'm not adding I'm adding a tiny tiny amount just because I need something not that I think it even remotely picks up for highlight I am using yet another palette, I'm so sorry. Makeup Revolution uh, Dia de los Meos. It's the Sugar Skull, I think it says Day of the Dead palette. And there's a shimmery colour in here that looks white in the pan, but I swatch it and it has a green reflect to it. So I'm literally just going to use that swatch I just took and it's not showing up as I thought it would ok hold on big blending brush ok well this is really disappointing isn't it I'm just going to sit here for a little while and pile this on well you saw none of that but um I wanted to try and have fell corruption physically represented and it just didn't work. I was having those though it was veins but it just doesn't work. Um, I wanted this to be really spectacular. Um, if you're not a gamer or if you have a life outside of your four walls then I don't think you will understand this as much but not only is this the first expansion that I'll ever see in WoW so obviously that brings a level of excitement it's the first time something game related has come out and I've had friends to share it with. Okay, they are all over the world and I don't know any of them in real life. But they're the first people I've ever spoken to on voice chat and felt comfortable. They're the first people I've ever spoken to on voice chat.
there are people who I respect and care for a lot and because of this I can't wait to see it in with them I can't wait to watch um, WoW YouTubers stream and I can't wait for all of this and I wanted to mark it and my original plan was a sort of semi cosplay of sorts or something which I'm not saying what because I still do plan to do it um, come Halloween but for several reasons I haven't been able to do it um, funds are very limited I budget things out and it's not always, I haven't always got it there and I also don't really know how I do it either so because of this I chose to just do something Legion themed and I've managed to make the eye different enough to what I have done in the past ish but I know that once I put the lips on and all of that I'm going to look the same as I do in every green look and I just don't want that I want something more but I'm not getting it and I don't know why I've decided I have to rant right now because in a minute I'll go do my hair I'll come back and I'll do my lips and nothing will, you know it's a look, it's a very good green look, I like it I suppose I'm just having an off day let me all get them don't we anyway enough of that I am going to disappear, I'm going to go do my hair and then I'll be back for the lips see you in a minute and I'm back yep just a messy hair moment anyway lips make revolution uh, automatic lipstick in a serpent and on that goes oh I forgot there's a purple on it Then I'm going to take the Hard Candy Intenso Eye Radiant Shadow Stick in Pop and go straight over the top as a lipstick. I'm going to add the green we use as a highlighter though in the middle and that works why can't you show that up like that on my face okay that is my wow legion inspired makeup look for the next expansion that at the time you're watching this video came out last night so I am probably playing as we speak and probably have not stopped playing <laughs> so yeah we have very green everything basically for some reason this look has just not made me feel like I normally do with looks even though I, I love it even though I do love it there's something that is just niggling at me But either way, I do love it. So, I hope you enjoyed this look. And until next time, just believe. Bye.